on YouTube. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. All right. Getting Debian onto the big 27-inch iMac, the marathon that we've been undertaking here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. It has not been a cakewalk. It has not been a walk in the park either. I mean, pick one, you'll be right. Yesterday for Midweek Wednesday here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, I uploaded a video showing you guys how I'd got to the point I'd gotten to and the fact that it now works. Now, if you haven't seen yesterday's video yet, I'll leave a link up there for it. At the end of that video, I mentioned the fact that I was heavily leaning towards running the upgrade path first from Debian 10 to Debian 11 and then adding my software. And I posed the question to viewers, if you agree with me, start your comment with yes. If you disagree with me, start your comment with no. Well, overnight, two viewers both agreed with what my sentiments were. One is a long-time viewer and supporter of Old Mate's Backyard Tech. The other one's a recent viewer and subscriber, I believe. So for this video, as you can see in the background, it's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. And, uh, well, I'm going to tell you exactly what the plan's going to be. I'm going to run the upgrade path first. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for a Thursday morning and effectively what I said I was planning on doing yesterday. Two viewers have, um, well, one's emphatically agreed with my plan and the other one has also agreed. Now, I mentioned yesterday the plan for the iMac. Now that I've got Debian 10 U11 on it with both XFCE and KDE, because it was the only way I was going to get the damn thing to work in the first place, I said about the fact that I was heavily leaning towards running the upgrade path first, then adding the bits and pieces I needed. Well, a long-time viewer and supporter of Old Mate's Backyard Tech, Andrew Taylor. Morning, Andy. How are you feeling these days, boyo? Uh, emphatically, uh, I guess you could say, agreed with my plan and simply said yes. Simple reason. It's sure a path to get back to where you were, where you are if the update makes a mess of the box. And that's true. Charles Smith said yes. If you upgrade before adding more packages, there's less chance of it to complain about any broken dependencies and all other reconfiguring it does during the process means you don't end up with, effectively, long story short, you don't end up with garbage all over the it's slash ETC folder, basically. Now, the, the reason I, wanted, I was leaning towards running the upgrade path first was confirmed by those two comments, basically. Okay. So all I need to do, all I really need to do is change the sources dot list from bullseye to, um, sorry, from buster to bullseye. Okay, and off I go. All right. So my plan is pretty simple. Very simple. Boot the iMac up, do app get update, app get upgrade or full upgrade, make sure every dependency is up to date, right? Every dependency is up to date. Then change the sources.list and then do app get update, app update to make sure that it resolves everything and then do app full upgrade. Now that will take me from Debian 10 U11 to Debian 11.2. It'll take me from kernel 419 to kernel 510. It'll upgrade both XFCE and KDE while leaving LightDM to be my default window manager. All right. This is going to be the easiest way I can think of doing it. All right. And if it does foul up, I, you know, I'm not in any trouble. So the plan is today run the upgrades and go for broke. Simple as that. All right, it's going to be the easiest way of doing it. I can leave the damn thing sit here and run for the next umpteen hours. It's going to take a while. It will take a while to do. Okay, it's not going to be a 
a simple thing. Two reasons it's going to take a while. Number one, it's got to upgrade the base. Number two, it's also got to upgrade XFCE and KDE. So both of them are going to be upgraded. All right. I know the way I've done it is cumbersome. It, it chews up more space than more space than I probably wanted it to chew up. But it works. I know people are not going to accept this. Some people are not going to accept this comment. It works. I'm not going to redo it to try and find out why it did not load EFI. It works. So I'll leave it in its existing configuration effectively. So there we go. Simple as that. <laughs> I can't be more simple than that, to be brutally honest with you. I really can't. So that's the plan. Now, if this gets done this morning, I'll come back later and do a quick video on the fact that it's done. If it doesn't, uh, I'll get a short out later on. And then for weekend Sundays, I'll show you it. Okay. But there we go. That is the plan. should work <laughs> it should work anyway there we go so what i was planning on doing two viewers have uh, effectively said that my thinking was right because as i said in that video from yesterday i was heavily leaning towards the fact of upgrade running the upgrade path first before i add packages so that's exactly what i'm going to do there we go anyway if nothing else uh, well, if nothing else today at all, I uh, I should catch it around the channel for weekend Sundays uh, on sun this coming Sunday. We'll see what crops up. Uh, other than that, enjoy the rest of your week and uh, your weekend Saturday. Have a good one.